Yeah, Kenites come in all colors and all creeds. They're at the top of all religions, all established order uh, functions, all, all facets. Of, they're at the top of all facets of society, all facets of government and governing bodies. They are at the top of the pyramid, um, watching down, and they're watching down on humanity. They're enslaving humanity um, as a source for work, as a source for um, food, you know. And so we talk about this duality of species delineation. Kenites at the top, humans at the bottom. Throughout every country, every society, every nation peoples. Um, some nation peoples being more human than others. And usually the ones that are more human than others will be the ones um, on the defensive during wartime while the Kenites will be on the offensive to destroy them and get rid of them. And this is why, um, like I said, I come from some pretty strong bloodlines, a couple of them actually. First off, um, like I've said, we have the pagan, druid, witch bloodlines here in the U.S., predominantly white. Um, we also have the Canaanite Jewry uh, alongside Bolshevik Jewry, who come from bloodlines of, of killing Christians in, in, in old Europe that, that are prominent here as well. And, they, and they're both into gang stalking. Now let's, let's not get it confused. Although they use Stasi-style Nazi tactics to gang stalk, genetically they are not the Nazis or a group that we know from Germany um, that pertained to the Third Reich and or... Um, the Axis, the main the main country that that defined the Axis powers during uh, World War II. Um, do we have Nazi genetic Nazi German scientists um, from Germany that are scientists here in America? Yes, we do. Are they uh, running experiments on you? Yes, they are. But when I want to talk about when I talk about um, my aversion to the Kenite reptilian heraldry that dominates human culture um, that's that's what it is um, I myself have seen what what they do to religions what they do to countries what they do to human beings and that's why this aversion strikes me when I have to be around that and don't get me wrong there everybody is under mind control but I'm talking about the direct conscious, slash unconscious beings who are choosing and doing Satan, their father's business, to disrupt and destroy God's chosen, a.k.a. specific human bloodlines, specific blood types. And that's what I've seen. For, from my existential point of view, th these are the groups I've seen. I haven't seen Nazis gang-stalking me. I have seen Kenites with Irish last names gang-stalking me. I've seen Kenites with Jewish last names gang stalking me, um, but this is who they are. They are not the good human aspect of these religions that are doing this. This is a specific species that does this to people. And so, when there's fallout and when there's blame to be put, that is when the humans at the bottom. Uh, the focus will be put on them for creating such things, in which is usually, the, for the most part, it's a lie. It's not true. And so what you have is you have these Kenites, which are problem, they're, they're just troublemakers. They start problems, they're troublemakers, and they get the public to turn on an individual, which is fine. The, if you're that stupid enough to believe a stranger anyways, um, that's, your, that's your funeral, you know? That's your eternal damnation. So what you have is the duality of this construct overlaid by genealogical duality of, of, of species that runs concurrent in this phenomenon. Now, there are, you know, podcasters slash TIs who do podcast, and a lot of them what I notice they like to do is they like to make podcasts to 
weigh heavily and they keep the focus on their niche for their podcast. And whenever there's someone who steps the bounds of, of, of their protectionist uh, piece that they're trying to put out throughout their podcasting, they're very defensive towards it. And they're very, and this is one thing I've kind of like slowed down on listening to very long podcasts stemming from targeted individuals because a lot of it is just it gets further away from the actual objective objective issues that are going on when we're talking about existence. And so I try to focus on existence and I really try to dedicate my points to the one or two viewers that listen to this. So um, this is where we're at right now, you know. And so I'm kind of against, I'm kind of at that two to one, two to one disadvantage in terms of being a targeted individual because um, my background, my historical lineage comes from um, Yugoslavia in which three, about three or four, three, genera- three or four generations ago, um, you know, half my family was lined up and gunned down by the Nazis, the, the genetic Nazis, the actual the Nazis of that time, maybe even the Catholics. I consider Catholics, they're Nazis anyways. Not because they're genetic Nazis, but because Catholics employ Stasi-style tax- tactics to gang stock for the most part. It's been rampant in the Vatican for years, but that's not the point. Coming from, if you're, if you're from a background who fought the Germans, a.k.a. the Kenites at the top, and you fought their directives at one time in history, or you are a specific type of Jew who comes from the Holocaust camp or escaping. They wanted you for something. They wanted, And here's what they wanted you for. They wanted you for a specific blood type. And so we have these genetic Nazi scientists that we brought to America still running uh, experiments on us. And I myself being basically half Slavic and half uh, Oriental Sephardic slash I consider Black Hebrew, not Canaanite Sephardic, which which are more closely tied to the Bolshevik infiltrators. Um, you have all the players here. You have people who fled the Holocaust, people who who fought against the Nazis, and then you have the actual Nazis. So all the players are here, but but through this passage of time. Uh, things were not forgotten. They're always in the memory of history and those who win wars and those who, who win the right to write, rewrite it and keep it and keep this going. And this is really, this is what has gone on. It's 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 beyond just a spiritual thing. And this is why I don't always like listening to T, like TIs talk about. They try to evade the objective reality by talking about how spiritual it is, and it's just it's just out there in outer space, and they ramble on for hours about something and this is because they're protectionists they're protecting something and it's not necessarily the interest of the chosen TI or God's hand at work it really is protecting their own backs their own genetic bloodlines their own and so there are groups like mine like you know when you're when you come from fighting i have like a double target a double whammy on my back because i come from a, a culture um from former Yugoslavia, which fought against the Nazis. So that's a double target. And if you make it out and you come here, then you also have the pagans and the crypto Jews who were killing Christians at the time of, I believe, Henry King Henry VIII and the Anglican Church. Uh, they were the ones who instigated and, and were killing Anglican Christians at the time um, due to what I believe was the Counter-Reformation. I'm not too accurate on the time, Maybe some of you can inform me about that, but this is what you have. So it continues. The his, history is not just repeating itself at one point in time; it's it's repeating itself throughout the passage of time as well. And this is one thing I've noticed. So coming, I kind of have that double target on my back. I come from a very strong bloodline who's defiant of the established order, who's defiant of of religionism and and and. and 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 the bodily government, the entities of, of national government. And you can you can listen to what the Kenites tell you. The public is stupid in this country anyways, so the Americans will believe anything. You tell them 
anything and they'll they'll believe it and so they and so they end up targeting uh the greatest of humanity and so that is a target i believe on my back which also stems to maybe targeting of my family as well because um i lost half of basically half of my family a few generations ago was lined up and gunned down by the germans um for hiding jews at that time and so um you're not going to get too many of those bloodlines and families here that made it out and lived to tell a story about it and, and, and heard the stories over time. And so, um, But what you do have are those Kenites, and they come in all creeds and colors. And they're not about humanity and the, the coexistence of humanity. They're about the preservation of their own species first and foremost. So that's something I have have come attuned to in seeing that. Secondly, I come from an Oriental Sephardic Jewish background, which has that specific blood type for being targeted um, by these Bolshevik and, and Canaanite Jews who are here as well. So what I've noticed, though, is a lot of these TIs, they look like me. They're, they're, not, the, they're not the Bolshevik type. The Bolshevik type are the, the same. They're, they're using the Nazi-style Stasi tactics to perfection, but they're not the ones being gang stalked. They're the ones doing the gang stalking, which is a telltale sign in the fact that just as Esau continues to try to steal Jacob's birthright, um, this is what we have. We have the, the destruction of God's bloodline. They are some RH, some RH capacity to that, which is going on and continues. The history is repeating itself, not only at a specific point in time, but throughout the passage of history, even up to that point. So, I, I got that double target on my back. You know, when you're chosen, you're chosen. You know, and so. The Kenites have a fond memory for, for, for taking vengeance upon themselves and getting back. And, and that's why um, I said, when you're looking at the duality of nations, some nation peoples have more of the human essence, more of the soul essence than others. But it just so happens that this country is dominated by uh, a, a certain species of Western Europe with, which don't really comprise of... of a majority of uh, of human essence, but more of that Kenite lizardry, that heraldry of control. And and if you look at them and you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you will know what I'm talking about. It's not that hard. It's not that hard for me, but to the ones who are trying to understand it, it's much of an existential process. You have to go through life uh, accumulating knowledge and, and, and being able to uh, witness to certain um, evidences that go on and find connections. You have to be really highly tuned intellectually um, as well as spiritually motivated to, to find answers. You might, And that's what usually when one is aiming towards human completion in this dimension, the Kenites, they know what's coming and they'll be able to be seen, you know. And so... You know, I see... They come, they, they come in all colors and creeds and... and, and I see them with all types of last names. And the only reason I'm talking about the duality of certain species is because throughout my existence of being a chosen TI, the two main groups that have done the groundwork for, for gang stalking have been the witch, the witch druid pagan blood of the Irish and the Canaanite adopted Jewish blood as well as the Bolshevik blood of Jewry. Um... Now, don't get me wrong, they are en masse, but they, they are not the most powerful. The most powerful are um, a higher grade of Kenite. And as you move up the pyramid scheme, you're going to get higher and higher and higher. And, that, and then, um, remember, we weren't going... So a lot of these wars aren't... There, there's many over overlying implications to what war, what the agenda behind wars really entail. You have financial reasons, economic reasons, political reasons, but beyond that, you have spiritual reasons, genetic reasons, um, and um, the existence of humanity, a big reason, a base reason, um, trying to control and cow humanity into the right numbers. This is the game that the Kenites are playing, so unfortunately, we're in a country with a lot of fallen blood. And those who have that RA, that specific blood, 
I'm not talking about the RH negative copper based reptilian blood. That's the blood that dominates, controls. I'm talking about the RH negative pure iron based human blood, just as Jesus Christ was. That's human based blood. And so, uh, exact opposite in, in function, in um, purpose for l existing. Um, like myself, I'm diametrically opposed to evil. I, I was never, I was born to never understand the purpose of evil. I have no idea why people are evil. That doesn't make sense to me. And, and that's why um, when you're more of a completed human, these things, the more you make sense of them, the less they actually make sense for their capacity um, that is used against you when you're targeting. So, that's just from, you know, I have that double target on my back, and I know some of my family is targeted. Uh, but um, when you come from prominent bloodlines that aren't of the fallen nature, and you have more of that human essence, um, God has a great work for you in your life, period. He's got a great work for you. And a lot of people aren't going to understand that because they're not, they don't have eyes to see and ears to hear, and they never will. So this is for the one or two of you that can bring about the perception of your personal truth and add it to the person, you know, the person of Jesus Christ in your life as a filter. So it's not for everybody. It's for the people who were chosen to, who are chosen to understand these things, you know, and I don't want to, I don't mean to sound conceited, but most people are not going to listen to this anyways. So, um, for those of you who are, um, you're in the right place if you're a TI, and you, and you are the good guys. We're the good guys. We're the we're the future of humanity. Um, so it's important to understand your perceptions. They're they're just as there's just as uh, a validation for truth as truth itself because um, you are the you will be the inheritor of the things that God will give you, and so will I. So um, be blessed. Go to the existential way and keep praying for the ministry. Um, if I don't see you ever. Uh, well, I, I can't say that. If I don't see you in this life or in this dimension, I'll see you upstairs because that's, you know, when the chosen go, when, when, the, when the body of Christ unites, it's going to be a miraculous thing. And it's it just starting here with the existential way, but um, you really got to live it out. You got to live it out as a purpose.